Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever time it is, wherever you're watching this. My name's Ryan, I like to talk about IT. This is my first ever video. Today we're going to learn a little bit about Midjourney. Midjourney is an image generator that can create beautiful pieces of art. There is a free version that some people use. Me personally, I don't like my photos being on the public Midjourney site. One of the bonuses of using a premium account is that you get to create your own private channel. I won't go into how to do this today because this is a real basic straightforward tutorial. It is my first after all. Today I'm just going to show you just, just the simple things that make Midjourney fun. Usually you'd be in the newbie area in Midjourney, but today I've got my own little personal one, so I'm going to use that. So the first thing you have to understand about Midjourney is what Imagine is. Imagine is just the prompt use. You can use this for basically anything. You know, they get quite complex. People like to do different variations. But today I just want to go something really simple. So I'm going to say a dog with a funny hat. Because I'm a bit whimsical like that. It usually takes around 30 seconds, sometimes a minute, depending on how complicated the image is. But this one's not too bad. We've got a few good ones here. This one looks like Axel Rose. The number in these options relate to each photo. This would be one, two, three, and four. U essentially means upscaling the photo, so having it on its own. V is creating a version of that photo, in four new photos based on that version. I do like this one, I think it's quite funny. I'm looking for a dog with a funny hat. That is a funny hat. I'm going to take the V4 and just see what other options it gives me. Oh man, would you look at that. Hilarious. From there you can choose anyone you want. I think number three. I'm just going to upscale number three. So there you go. You'll also get these options here. The first one I want to look at is just the very. There is very strong and there's very subtle. This just works the image. Even strong isn't crazy. I just want to vary this just subtly, just to see how it will look. There you have it. There's four subtle differences. And as you can see, it's not major. Even the strong, I'll, I'll show you the strong as well, isn't incredibly different, right? It's just more of a touch up than anything. So this is a stronger variation. As you can see, it's not incredibly different. I'm going to stick with this one just for the sake of time. The next thing is the very, which is my favorite. Say you look in this photo and you're saying to yourself, hey Ryan, that does look like a funny dog. But I gotta say, that hat isn't all that funny. Well, don't you worry, we can change that hat by just simply highlighting what we want to change. So in this scenario, it's just the funny hat. Let's try to make it funnier. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't laughed yet. Is that how it works? I don't know, comment, comment something, whatever you want, I don't care. Just comment something. So there you have it, four variations of the hat, you know, one just as hilarious as the next, but I think we're gonna stick with this one for the moment. The next part is the zoom feature. Now we've got several different ways we can zoom. We can zoom in or we can zoom out or we can custom zoom, which is a little bit more complicated. So today I'm just gonna go with the zoom out 1.5. And there you have the zoomed out photos. The last thing I wanna look at is these here. These arrows basically indicate the camera when it comes to this photo. For example, this left arrow, if you were to click it, would move the camera to the left. This actually confused me the first time. I, I thought it was the other way around. If I was to hit this, this would zoom the camera up, not make the person bigger, which is what I originally thought. So there is that one. As you can see, had a weird flower on that one, but mostly they're all the same. Last thing I wanna kind of point out is just this love heart here. If you don't know, one day AI is going to take over everything. If you wanna survive, you better start being nice to AI right now. Any photo you like, make sure to give a heart. You know, like, comment, subscribe, I, I, I don't really care. It's my first video, I'm just trying to get this, try to understand how this all works. So if you liked it, thanks. I really appreciate it. I'm trying my best. If not, let me know. Uh, I'll try to get better, but we'll see how we go. All right, thank you.